We recently just got a big snowfall here and this topic keeps coming up recently. So uh, today I want to touch on the three most common reasons why your dog may be sore after a big snowfall. So I'm Adam, this is Bo, let's dive in. So Bo's getting a little bit older, but even at his age, uh, he still acts like a kid on Christmas morning when there's a new snowfall outside. He gets full of zoomies and he's ripping around the fields, the different uh, uh, trails we go to, and he goes, you know, as hard as he can. And this happens with a lot of dogs. And that's the number one reason why uh, a lot of dogs get sores. They just can't help themselves. They have too much fun out in the snow and they're basically like, it's like having a, a workout, the first workout in a long time. You're gonna be sore for a little bit after. So especially with older dogs that might not push themselves and then they do when that first snow falls there, that's the first reason why they might get a little bit of delayed onset muscle soreness. The second reason is that you get uneven footing and they can't see where they're placing their foot. So this is more important if you're you know in a field or you're off into a trail system or in a forest rather than being on a sidewalk or on a road. Uh, you know, it's even more so apparent when there's a, a thaw and free cycle where there might be footprints in different tracks where the dog is having uneven placement. So think of this like if you're walking on a beach uh, with deep sand as compared to say walking on the sidewalk. There's a big difference there and there's a lot of instability. So if your dog has had a history of injuries, they might just aggravate it by playing in the snow. And the last reason, which I think is the most important reason, is when it's deeper snow after a big snowfall, a lot of dogs have to bunny hop through the snow to be able to get through. So dogs that have a history of hind end, low back, knee issues, whatever it may be, and they've built up some tightness and it's off and on again, um, in terms of pain and stiffness, this can really aggravate their condition. And the reason why is they have to drive through the back end and that compresses all the joints and the discs in the low back uh, and when they drive out and push through the snow. So there's no getting around it when it's really deep. And as a result, they may wake up after a nap from being in the snow and, and be pretty stiff and sore. So typically the pattern is not, they're out in the snow and they're sore. What you're gonna notice is later that day, if they're resting, once they get up, they're gonna be stiff. They might be limping a little bit. Uh, or the next morning, you're gonna notice that they are stiff and sore. And that's a good indication that there's more of a chronic issue or re-aggravation of an old injury going on. If something happens when you're out in the field and they're lifting their leg, that may, may be more of an acute injury and that's something you should have looked at right away as well. I hope that helps and now you'll know what to expect on the next snowfall.